So you might be in a situation where your meta quest or Oculus Quest 2 controller is not working. Now, what does this mean? Well, essentially, maybe you're putting on your headset and your controller and basically you're using your controller and randomly it stops working or randomly it's just not pairing up with your headset anymore. Now, the number one reason and the main reason why this ends up happening is because of a battery issue. So what I would recommend doing here a majority of the time is making sure that the batteries inside of your specific you know, controller are actually fully you know, working. Sometimes the batteries may not be working anymore. It's very common. Don't even worry about it. What you need to do is you want to go ahead and find on the side of your controller right here. So you can see right here the bottom little arrow that's pointing down. All you want to do is you want to go and take this little bottom arrow and slide it off like this. Now when you do that, you will come into this little area. So all you're going to have to do here is go ahead and basically remove this specific battery or replace this battery. So when not only when you replace it, you need to be careful because you need to make sure that the battery is inputted back in the same exact spot. So we can go ahead and remove this battery right like this. It kind of takes a couple tries. And then you can go and find a better battery, you know, replace it like that. And when you place it back, you want to make sure that it's in the same exact spot. So the plus is at the end, the minus is at the top. You want to make sure the minus is up here and the plus is at the bottom. So go ahead and kind of input that just like this. And before you even put the cap back on, all you want to do is just go ahead and make sure that your specific controller is now working. I guarantee you a lot of the time the controller will now work and that is pretty much all you're going to have to do. From everything that I've seen, a lot of the times that's all that kind of needs to happen and it will just pretty much fix itself as of this point. Now, if that's still not working, if you can get one controller to work, like if both controllers aren't working, then that may mean there's a problem with your headset and you may need to restart your headset. If you have hand tracking enabled on your headset, you may want to see if you can update your headset that way too. But that is basically the main way of which I fix my controller whenever I have issues with it. So hopefully it ends up fixing for you too. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.